Roboticon 2025, we are here. This is our fourth annual robotics competition. And this time it's international. We have guests from Lesotho and Kenya coming to compete. Over 100 schools today will be showing their skills in coding and robotics. And many of these schools have prepared for such a long time. And we can't wait to see the skills that are on display. This year we have partnered with WRO and they are on the other end of the heartfelt arena. Stay tuned for more. We have so much content to show you and we can't wait to announce the winners. We'll see you soon. how we can make our car move by programming it to move the correct way. I think our robot's very creative, especially because it's about bananas. Bananas for the win! I believe every single child should do coding and robotics. It's one of the new modern age subjects that teaches kids the absolute basic skills that every child needs. And that is how to think critically, how to collaborate with others, how to communicate clearly, and how to think creatively as well. All of that put together and adding one more skill, which is grit. If kids learn these five skills at a young age, it doesn't matter where the world is going and it's fast it's evolving, our kids will be ready for the industry one day. so that our children could get exposed to this amazing opportunity where they get to have fun, see coding and robotics from a completely different perspective. We're just looking forward to having fun, helping each other and sticking together. The best part for today is working together as a team and team spirit and coming here for this wonderful competition. Coding and robotics is incredibly beneficial in our schooling. Um, we're helping to prepare children for a world that doesn't even exist. And technology is taking over the world, so we, are, we have to adapt. But it also develops many other skills, soft skills, such as teamwork and collaboration and problem solving. Coding and robotics is very important. As important as learning how to read and write, so that they are able to cope in this fast-changing world we are living in. It's our national competition, it happens once a year towards the end of the year and it's a space for kids to come, compete, see what they've built, build communities, collaborate with other kids and solve real world problems. Uh, our boys are competing today, uh, learning about robotics and the future, uh, very proud of them, they're doing really well. They get to explore, play games and really just live their geeky little lives and 